How much does the NBA want you to talk about this I'm stuff? Not, do you I'm think? not sure. I think uh, Adam Silver is very with it, so to speak. And, you know, he obviously says there's rules and regulations right now, but he's open for conversation down the road. So I think the fact that he's willing to even listen is a big step. Well, what, what would the... Do you want no rules and regulations about this? Um, I think, saying? obviously, there should, there's... The, you always want to have rules and regulations. I just think that with more education behind cannabis, they'll understand the benefits. I think everyone's stuck in the old stigma and stereotypes of back in the day that it's, you know, a gateway drug and, it, and it's bad for this and it's bad for that. But, uh, you know, knowing what it did for me um, throughout my career, even throughout my college career and high school career, I'm glad that there's medical research backing that up now because I know what it did for me personally. What did it do for you personally? It relaxed me. Um, it was something that able, uh, allowed me to sleep easier. Um, it was something that took pain away because I'm not really big on alcohol or, or painkillers. And it was something that just put me in, in a different area where I was able to relax and be at peace for a small part of my day. Well, I know in the for NFL players that it would be something for pain relief, Absolutely. certainly after a career, but during the playing career. But we all know that it, uh, even Howie Long, Pro Football Hall of Famer, has come on this show and called every snap in the NFL a car crash. I mean, Indeed. how 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 physical is the NBA to the point where you need marijuana as pain management? Um, the NBA is physical from the standpoint of, you know, we don't have pads on, so that ground is unforgiving. That court is going to win every single time you hit it. But then from, you know, surgeries, botched surgeries, ankle injuries, broken fingers, you know, things here and there that, you know, a trainer will just throw any kind of painkiller at you for, which makes you feel bad. You know, like painkillers always made me really nauseous. That's why I was never really a fan of them. Um, and at the same time, that they're destroying the insides. So, you know, I just realized that even though it was illegal, um, you know, I found a way to be able to manage it responsibly and, and use it, and it was my substitution for painkillers. I just, uh, I got to ask the question, did you ever play a game high? Um, I smoked before games. It was never right before. What I would do is I'd go to shoot around. I'd come home after shoot around, smoke a joint, take a nap, take a shower, and then go to the game. And you were able to function? And yeah, I did it my whole career. Your whole career? My whole career. Did you ever test i did i i failed two tests um but i just kind of found out you know trial and error i realized like i said i wasn't doing it like i would do in the summertime i was doing it much more responsibly and and, and as needed but i just found out if i drank a lot of water and ate clean that i was able to you know get it out of my system in time hmm. and it, you don't and do you think you would have been able to make it through 14 seasons in the nba without no. that regimen no not only from the pain standpoint but just I mean, my life has been well documented. Uh, the crazy stuff on and off the court, and yes. to, to be able to right. to be able to focus, you know what I mean? Because we don't get a break. You know, once that ball goes up, no matter if I went through a divorce or my mom died or I got in a fight with someone, with the world talking about it during those two hours, there's no excuses. And I think it allowed me to focus and and and, and handle my business when I need to. See. Now, I, I, at a concert, I I always say this to, or at a sporting event. I'll be honest. I'd rather be behind somebody smoking than somebody drinking. Oh yeah. Without a doubt, there's no question because I, there's no there's usually no fights when somebody is smoking rather than drinking anything could go crazy. Right. That said, though, I mean the stuff that you said documented that's been crazy in your life. Could you attribute any of that to it? I can pot? no, I can contribute to me being able to put the fire out, so to speak, by smoking. Um, like I said, it was you know I was painted uh, you know and I earned some of it, but just as the bad guy, you know what I mean, which was you know reputation is earned whether good or bad. Um, so just to be able to kind of block out all the negative that I always got um, from life, from the game in general, like I said, it just allowed me to focus and calm down and, and think clearly. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.